when we train a multi-layer perceptron in a classification problem, our data set comes with uh, labels indicating uh, the uh, class that each point comes from. So for example, in a binary classification problem, all the data points have binary labels and they indicate whether they come from class 1 or from class 2. And we have this multi-layer perceptron with one hidden layer and to distinguish between the two classes for a given data point, it's enough to think about the output in terms of a sigmoid um, uh, function. And the way to interpret this sigmoid function is, is that this uh, single output we have is going to indicate the uh, probability that um, data point xt comes from class c1. And by default, if you want to think about class C2, then obviously it's going to be one minus this uh, output we have. So one single output for binary classification is enough um, because that describes the first class and, and by default, uh, the other one is one minus. And so this is the architecture we are going to use for a binary classification problem, one single neuron um, in the output layer and a sigmoid output for that uh, um, uh, output neuron and then in terms of training we are going to use just like before the gradient descent um, update rule and back propagation of the error and what this comes down to is again the single output uh, we have is the sigmoid of the linear calculation um, computed from the hidden layer to the output layer and um, then we just calculate the error function um, in the same way as before for classification problems. And then we just calculate the uh, partial derivatives of this uh, error function with respect to V and then uh, later on for with respect to W. So this is um, the same thing that we've seen before. For example, the error function um, uh, for any classification problem we've had. And then is the same idea of the uh, back, back propagation with gradient descent. For multi-class classification problems, um, we will have one output neuron for each class. And the decision between those k classes is going to be based on the softmax function. So what this means is that we will have in the output layer a uh, calculation of this type. Uh, the output is going to be um, uh, a linear um, uh, combination of the values of the hidden layer and then the output in neuron i is going to be the softmax function applied to, to these uh, output values we, we calculated. And that's going to reflect the probability that uh, data point xt that we are currently analyzing um, comes from class ci and we have one one such neuron for each one of our um, k classes. So one output neuron for each class, decision based on the softmax function, and then it goes the same way as before. We take the uh, log likelihood uh, as we did for any classification problem, and um, we have this uh, error function, and um, then we calculate with uh, uh, gradient descent uh, uh, the update um, for these weights, and that's based on the partial derivatives of this error function with respect to V and then with respect to W. And uh, we have, just like before, this idea of the learning factor. So everything then goes along the same lines. The calculations are a little bit different than, than in regression, but the basic idea is the same. And these calculations uh, simply come from what the partial derivative of this error function is with respect to V and with respect to W.